Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I start each and every last one of my digital drawings using Procreate on my iPad Pro. So if you like to see part of my process, stay tuned. For me, one of the first things that I do when I do do a digital painting is to pick what colors I want for the mood that I'm trying to portray in the actual drawing. So even after you're done with the sketch, if you don't already have a palette in mind, that's one of the things that you're gonna have to do. Of course, you could always go back and adjust some colors, but it's good to have a general idea of what colors you want. One of the methods that I use, especially when I'm doing lineless art, is to outline the area that I want the color to be in using that color with either a pen tool or some kind of tool that's heavily stabilized and then dragging and dropping the color in the middle of the outline. Once you have the color that you want in that layer down and you look at it and maybe you decide that it's too red or too blue or whatever, you could always alpha lock that layer and then go to the color selection tool, pick what color you want, and then fill in that layer since it's already alpha locked. The color will only go to whatever pixels have already been colored in, and you can correct the colors of that layer without having to start over and re-outlining everything. One of the old school methods that I sometimes go to too whenever I don't really feel like outlining is gonna do the layer justice is I just go and color through it as if I was doing it with a pencil and paper or a paintbrush and canvas or whatever and basically just color in the areas that I want to be colored in. Of course, you might go outside the lines on some areas and you have to just go back in and erase it, but that's fine. This method works just as well as outlining. Since I am trying to go for a lineless art or for an art piece that doesn't really have line art, I tend to lower the opacity of my sketch layer so that way I can make sure all of the base layers have crisp boundaries so you can kind of tell the silhouettes of the layers by the different colors. So that way the skin looks like a body, the hair looks like a hair, things of that nature. You can also use the selection tool to color in a layer 
but if you really don't have a layer used as a reference then you won't be able to use automatic and if you don't use automatic then you may have to freehand that particular area and if you're going to freehand it you might as well just use the outlining method so if you have line work you can use that layer as a reference and then use the automatic selection and drop whatever colors in that you want but if not i would suggest the outline instead of trying to use a selection tool to outline it and then have to go back in and color it in when you guys are layering down colors for your flat layers this is when layers are crucial for your digital painting so whenever you decide to change a color change a layer and i say this because if you pick a color and you keep going and you realize hey i don't really like this color you don't really have to worry about selecting one part of the layer and have to worry about making sure you don't change the other part of the layer you can just alpha lock the layer pick your new color fill it in and you can just keep on moving and it's so much faster so that's my preferred method and that's why i like using as many layers as possible another helpful tool that i like to use is the clipping mask so basically after you've laid down the colors or you've drawn an area on the initial layer you create a layer above it and then you turn it into a clipping mask and basically what that means is you can draw on that new layer but it won't exceed the boundaries or go outside the lines of the layer that it's underneath or clipped to so when you make that new layer and you clip it, you're gonna see a bent arrow pointing down to the layer underneath it. And that's how you know that the layer has been successfully clipped and you can draw in it without worrying about going outside that line. Perfect. Perfect.
Thank you guys so much for watching and if you'd like to support me as an artist in the hopes of opening my own art shop then you can click the GoFundMe link in the description box. But if not, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more information and more content. Thank you guys so much for watching and please stay safe out there. Bye!